Okay, friends, since the weather's been kind of crazy right now and the sun and the rain have both been out, I am going to read How the Crayons Save the Rainbow. And this is written by Monica Sweeney and illustrated by Feronia Parker Thomas. So, How the Crayons Save the Rainbow. So the sun and the clouds were best friends. They worked together to keep the earth warm and gardens growing. But all of the things they did together, their very favorite was making rainbows so that the whole world was colorful and happy. Then one day, the sun and the clouds had a big fight. The clouds were blocking the sun and the sun couldn't shine through the earth to the earth. The sun went sizzle, sizzle, sizzle at the clouds, and the clouds went clap, bang, boom, back. They stopped being friends and were never in the sky together again. With the sun and the clouds far apart, it was scorching hot on some days and damp and cold on others. And worst of all, there were no more rainbows. And without rainbows, the flowers, streams, and even cities started to lose their color. Soon, the earth was black and white. But in one little town, in one little school, in one little desk, there was one little forgotten box of crayons. And the crayons still had their color. The desk rattled, shook, clambered and clanked. All of a sudden, it toppled over and the box of crayons tumbled out. Ah, I'm naked. Yippee! Get off of me. I'm out of here. Whoa, is me. Hey, where are all the colors? The crayons started to search for the colors. They raided marker bins and tore through art projects, but everything as far as they could see was only black and white. Who made all the colors go away? Oh, this is so sad. This is terrible. If oranges aren't orange, do I even exist? What about daffodils and butter? So the crayons are confused. So let's see how they solve this problem. The crayons looked out the window. The sun was all the way to one side of the sky looking angry, and the clouds were all the way to the other looking gloomy. I miss all the colors. We can't even draw rainbows together now. Wait, that's it. We need to save the rainbows. Get purple. Purple's having a great idea. So the crayons started drawing little rainbows all over town, but nothing happened. The sun and the clouds didn't seem to notice. We have to make our rainbows bigger, Violet said. Working together, the crayons drew and scribbled. So here's their big rainbow. They made the biggest, brightest, most colorful rainbow the world had ever seen. Ever so slowly, the sun perked up and the clouds floated in for a closer look. The sun and the clouds were both the sun and the clouds both peered down, admiring the giant rainbow that the crayons had drawn. What bright colors, said the sun. It's incredible, said the clouds. They looked at each other with great big smiles. The sun said to the clouds, remember when we used to be together all the time and make rainbows? The clouds nodded. I'm sorry for going clap, bang, boom at you. I'm sorry for going sizzle, sizzle, sizzle at you, said the sun. It's better being friends, said the sun, and the clouds agreed. They hugged. The sun shined brightly and the clouds missed happy rain. Ever so slowly, rainbows reappeared near and far, turning the, wo the world colorful once again. The end.